2020 was an interesting year, but now with all of these legends into Pokemon Sword and Shield, is Charizard still a viable Pokemon to be able to use in PvP? I think we've come up with a solution to be able to maximize the damage output and survivability of your Charizard. Let's go ahead and take a look. So as a recap, we have G-Max Wildfire, that is the G-Max version of Charizard, and we are still going to be looking at using that G-Max version. G-Max Wildfire inflicts damage and for 4 turns, deals damage at the end of each turn to non-fire type Pokemon equal to 1 -sixth of their maximum HP. So it does a really good amount of chip damage at the end of every turn, it's really going to help you set up a lot of other things for your other Pokemon to come in and finish out the match. Now let's take a look at maybe the team composition or something similar that you might want to use for your Charizard. And we're going to start at the very bottom here with that Galarian Articuno and it's obviously going to be the Psychic Flying type, but more importantly this is going to set your Trick Room. We are going to make a Trick Room Charizard, which means you're going to want the lowest speed possible Charizard, a zero speed is best, to make this somewhat viable. Now obviously a true Trick Room team is going to get over on you, so what you might want to do is put Imprison also on your Galarian Articuno. That way if they have a true Trick Room team with a Glastrier or a Rhyperior, anything that's going to be significantly faster than you in a Trick Room scenario, this way you're going to imprison their Trick Room, they're not going to be able to do anything and you're still going to be able to do some chip away and hopefully kill their Trick Roomer in the process. Okay, so you could also use Taunt on a Pokemon, any one of these Pokemon that can learn it. However, if they have multiple Pokemon out on the field to start the battle, they can learn Trick Room at the same time, like Porygon and Dusclops, for example, then Imprison works a little better because you're locking it no matter which Pokemon has it, instead of taking a gamble and hitting the wrong Pokemon. Looking at the rest of the team, the most important one here, in my personal opinion, is going to be this Raichu. It's going to not only give you the electric coverage, and Raichu has some really good competitive moves that you can actually use, but it is going to have the Lightning Rod, and Lightning Rod is going to draw all the electric attacks away from your Charizard. And the electric attacks are a big threat to him, so that this is a great Pokemon to be able to throw in there. There are a few other Pokemon with Lightning Rod, but Raichu is my personal favorite. You could also go with something like a Volt Absorb, but you kind of have to plan out switching the Charizard with a Volt Absorb, assuming they have an Electric type, and so on. Obviously, you don't have to use the Raichu, especially if they don't have an Electric Mon on the opposite side to counter the Charizard, but this is a good coverage move uh, Pokemon for you here. Moving on, we have the Groudon. This is going to not only set your sun, but give you great ground coverage and Groudon is just a good Pokemon in general. I mean, he's going to be able to do a ton of damage. Precipice Blades attacks all the opponents on the other side of the field. So this is a good Pokemon, in my opinion, to add in here. You could also maybe set something like a Needle King in here if you would like, but it's definitely a little squishier than, say, Groudon. All right, so the last two here are the ones that you can really kind of opt for different Pokemon. However, I'm a big fan of these two, especially the Rillaboom specifically because of his grassy glide ability. Now it's great to have the extra coverage typing in here with the grass coverage, and he does get a lot of other really good moves, including Fake Out. However, if you get into a situation where your Trick Room wears off or you never got it off in the first place, maybe you got taunted or imprisoned or whatever, now you, you can still have priority with grassy glide and do a ton of damage because Rillaboom does a ton of damage, plus it's a stab move. So it's going to be a really good priority move here for you. And then Tabu Finny is just a great Pokemon in general. I mean, it's still one of the most used Pokemon in competitive right now, and it's not going to really go away anytime soon. I mean, the only water Pokemon that's going to really kind of rise up in the ranks is really going to be Kyogre. So it's a water fairy type coverage. It's got great support moves, and it is a great tank, especially if you're going with a Calm Mind build. But it also has a good special attack, just base, so you're able to do a lot of damage with it just naturally. So you definitely want to consider the Tapu Fini here. All right, so first and foremost, going into the move set, you need to make sure your Charizard has a zero speed or closest to it. You want the lowest speed possible for this build since this is going to be a trick room set and Charizard has a pretty good natural speed. So the lowest, the better here. Now, special attack is going to be 252 EVs, HP 252, and then the other four put it wherever you like, just not speed, but I put it into special defense here. Ability item in nature, you're going to go with Solar Power. Obviously, this is a great move for him. It's going to do a little damage to you when you're in harsh sunlight, but it's going to significantly increase the Charizard's attack power for special attack. 
Uh, Quiet Nature is going to give you your attack boost and lower your speed even more. So definitely a speed lowering nature is preferred here. And then Life Orb to really maximize the amount of damage that you're doing with your Charizard. Move set we're looking at Blast Burn, Air Slash, Solar Beam, and Protect. Uh, mostly because when you're in a G Max, you have great coverage with the Solar Beam here. Blast Burn is, is going to do a ton of damage, and Air Slash is just his best uh, flying type move. You could do something like Dual Wing Beat, but in G Max, it's just better to do the Air Slash anyways. And when you're out of G Max, you're going to be able to possibly flinch people, so just go with the Air Slash. Protect is great in case you need to take the turn to set up your Trick Room if you're pulling your Zard out first, which is what I've been doing. Uh, I send him out, I use Protect, and then the Galarian Articuno will set up the Trick Room, and it almost always falls for it. Somebody tries to attack the Charizard, even if they're DMAX, the Charizard usually can live through it no matter what. If it's a significant threat that's attacking Charizard, something like a Regilecki, I'm going to switch out to that Raichu, so it's going to eat the Electric Attack no matter what, and we're going to go from there. Now, if they're going to start with a Regilecki out on the field, I'm or they have it in their lineup, I might not start the Zard anyways. I might start the Raichu out with the Galarian Articuno and then go with the Trick Room and the Lightning Rod that way to pull the Regilecki's attack, set up the Trick Room that way, and then pull the Zard out when either something dies or I swap out. It's kind of up to you how you want to play that, um, but you're just going to want to predict it. You could predict it wrong. It happens. But this is the set that I've been using, and it's been doing pretty good so far. Now, Season 8, Series 8, I should say, hasn't started yet, so I'm excited to see how this is going to do with the addition of the Groudon and the Kyogre and all of those Zacians. Oh my gosh, they're going to be everywhere. Uh, and if you do need a Zacian guide, check out our Zacian video as well. But I am excited to use this in Series 8, but in Series 7, it's been doing pretty good so far. So I hope you get some, uh, some fun with this. I hope you're able to use it, and I hope this guide helped you out and you had fun. Charizard's always a fun Pokemon to use. I'm a big fan of Charizard, and it was uh, it was a little sad to kind of see the Legends taking over every spot possible and kind of pushing some of these other Mons out, but I think this is a way that he can be a little bit useful in the ranked online, so I'm hoping that this gets some traction and we start seeing some Charizard Trick Rooms out there because it's a lot of fun to use, and it is a little, a little strange and different. Guys, thanks for hanging out. As always, if you like the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comments section below. I do answer all comments. So if you have something to say about this, good, bad uh, suggestions, I'm all ears. Let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for hanging out, guys. I hope this was good for you, and I can't wait to see you next time. But until then, take care.